Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 and I'm back with another tech video. In this video I'm going to be taking a quick look at Cyanogen Mod 10 uh, build. Um, it's the build for September 14th, 2012. Um, so today is the 14th and I've just installed CM10914 just to give you a, a quick, uh, some quick info. If you're coming from uh, another um, another ROM such as maybe AOKP or another uh, or a, a stock ROM you're gonna need to boot into recovery and I'll show you real fast um, an app that will let you do it ROM manager available in the Google Play Store um, boot into recovery there you're gonna go ahead and uh, wipe the data factory reset and then wipe Dalvik cache and you're gonna wanna wipe the cache partition and then install from SD uh, from the SD card um, so in this build, um, I'm going to just go over a couple features. Remember, this is for the um, Nexus S, the GSM variant. So, first quick feature we'll be going over is uh, in the settings and right in the advanced. As you can see, my backlight, my backlights uh, have dimmed, and they've now added a, t um, a feature that uh, is BLD tuning or backlight uh, dim tuning, I believe, and so you can set how many seconds until the backlight dims. I have it at 10. You can set it down to 5, so in 5 seconds these lights will dim. And there you go. Um, let's put that back to 10. Uh, another, uh, if we click idle stats, it still gives us um, uh, this force close, hopefully that is coming soon because I'd like to test that out. I've never tested any uh, deep idle, idle mode. Um, everything is pretty much the same. It's still real uh, snappy and real fluid. Um, uh, if we click these, these are everything's the same pretty uh, for the most part. I haven't noticed any any real big changes. The theme chooser, you do need to install separate themes if you want to have uh, uh, different themes. Um, uh, another quick feature I'll show you. Let me pull this away. I have messages. Um, I'll show you the quick pop-up mode, which is useful if you're in you, uh, an app like YouTube, where um, where you're listening to something or you're watching a video and you don't want to leave in order to uh, you don't want to leave the app in order to respond. This is a good way for you to um, quickly respond. I know that some third-party apps do it, but having CM10 and this messaging app uh, is really useful because you don't need to install a third party. So here it is. Um, I know I spelled this wrong. If you can see that, I accidentally typed thus. But anyway, um, it'll pop up like this. You have the option to use dark, um, a dark uh, mode or light mode. Uh, so you can quickly respond just by typing in, uh, let's say I put hey. Um, uh, we'll close that and I will quickly send another one just to show you another setting that there is. Um, so as I was saying, it's helpful because you don't need to install a third-party app in order to have this feature. Okay, so then you'll notice that there's, I know it's hard to see, but there's uh, two pieces, it looks like two pieces of paper with a star. Those are templates, and so if you have templates that you want to put in, uh, you can go ahead and type that, and it'll give you a list of templates that you have, and you just click the one, and it'll automatically uh, insert the message. And then um, if you have multiple messages that you need to get back to, you can swipe over. I know it won't do it now, but you can swipe over and see the next message and just continue to reply to messages that you have. Then you can uh, hit view to open up the whole thread, like the normal messaging thread. And you can just go ahead and close out. Um, another thing in uh, messages that I haven't showed you yet is uh, in the settings. There are, a lot of, there are a lot of new settings. Most of these up here are already... Uh, we're already in there with the stock messaging app, but you now have um, the option to configure a vibrate pattern. You can do a normal, medium vibrate, long vibrate, multiple short, multiple long, custom vibrate pattern. And if you know a uh, format off on in milliseconds, um, you go ahead and customize your own vibrate pattern for when you get a text message. And then you can also allow it to uh, vibrate when you're on a call. Uh, this is the quick message settings. You can allow quick message to pop up when you, when you're uh, not in the, uh, or when you're in some app or you're just on the home screen, it'll pop up. I have used dark theme check so that it, it conserves some battery life. Wake and unlock. So if your device is locked and you want to be able to have the pop up messages unlock your device, um, uh, and you can quickly reply. 
you can go ahead and check that box. But remember that this is only for uh, insecure lock screens. I believe that would be if you just have uh, a swipe to unlock or no lock. But if you have like a pin or a passcode or face unlock or something of that nature, it won't work. Um, and then close all. So this button will close all the messages that you uh, haven't read yet. SMS templates, you can uh, manage your templates here or create new ones. Uh, gestures, I haven't tested that out, but I would imagine if you like draw an N, it'll go ahead and enter a certain template for you. Um, and then you have some strip uh, Unicode um, emoji support, which is nice. You can include a bunch of different emoticons that uh, aren't native to the app. Um, you have full time stamps to be able to see when the, when the messages were received. And original timestamps, if you check that, it'll display the sent date instead of the received date in timestamps, which is all helpful. Um, so that was a quick look at uh, Science Mod 10, uh, 914, some new additions. Uh, if I see anything new, I'll go ahead and post a video. And I know I haven't posted too many videos regarding this since the, since the early uh, builds of this, but that's because they, they haven't added too many new features that I've been able to notice. Um, possibly just performance updates but like I said if I notice anything new I'll go ahead and make a video if there's something you guys want to see uh, or you have questions go ahead and leave them in the comments box down below and don't forget to uh, like the video don't forget to uh, share it with your friends uh, make sure you make sure they know about CM10 and uh, if they're if they're rooted and they looking for ROMs point them in the direction of CM10 and possibly my video to help them get started with that and um, I'll leave all the info in the description for uh, CM10 download links and the G apps in case you don't have those and just be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video